What's up YouTube? Sean the Gamer here and I want to spend a few minutes talking to you guys about the season finale or the series in general of Quantico. Um headed up by I think she was like Miss Universe or Miss World or something like Priyanka. I'm not gonna try to pronounce her name full out, but the girl is gorgeous. Um best actress in the world? Probably not. I think she's uh starting a couple of more like independent movies or things like that. A couple of TV shows, but she's a she's a uh, capable actress. She's the lead, uh, and the whole thing is on the first episode. She was set up because, as the show implies, Quantico is about the FBI. So, if you don't know what Quantico is, it's pretty much where people go, where where you go to get your training for FBI and military. No, I don't say military, but FBI mostly type stuff. So that's where you go to get your training. And the show revolves around her class. I think it's 2015, 2016 class. They all graduated. They are off doing their stuff. And then Alex is set up. They blow up like one of the main FBI buildings in New York, I believe. It was either New York or Washington. They blow up. And somebody in Quantico is framing Alex. And they're a terrorist who has a nuclear bomb trying to go off. And Alex has to prove her innocence while trying to outrun the FBI, while trying to find out who the terrorist is, because she knows it's somebody in her class. So, the show is decent. If you want something to marathon, you can catch it on Hulu. It's probably going to be on Netflix sooner or later. Or ABC.com. That's where it, it's an ABC show. So, that's why I get the feel of how to get away with murder, if you like that. Uh, where it's like that whodunit type show. And then it has flashbacks similar to Arrow, where they go back in time to relive like moments while they were in Quantico. So you can kind of piece together or try to piece together who the terrorist is. So I'm not going to go into that spoiler because that's a, I think that's a show ending spoiler. So I'm not going to say who it is. Um, but. They do at the end of the last episode, which aired May twenty wait wait May fifteenth two thousand sixteen. I'm recording this a couple of days later. Uh, May seventeenth. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into that much of a spoiler, but the show is pretty good. It has a, the the cast is the cast is capable. I say that the cast is capable. Hopefully in season two with the people that didn't die. I say that there are a lot of people that died. So. With the people who are still around, hopefully they can work up a good script and they can get a the second season to be better than the first season. As a launching platform for the show, this season was um good. It was a really good season. I gave it maybe like a three point five out of five. It has it's it's a it's a I don't wanna say it's a women's show. Cause that's cause it has a lot of action in it, but it is kind of catered towards women with all the sappiness and all that. But that's in kind of any show with the romances nowadays. But if you want something to marathon, I would definitely watch this show. Uh, every episode is action packed because it is an FBI show, so they don't lack in action and drama and you know romance. So if you're if you like stuff like that, I liked it because of. Alex Parrish, the main character, and uh, the twins. I liked it because of the females on the show. They were just attractive to look at. And they did have some, like, really cool action scenes every now and then. Like, when they had to go, like, when they were in training, they had to go pretty much do a hostage situation in, like, a, a big building, like, office building. And they had to try to uh, maneuver their way into that like fighting upperclassmen and things and their superiors then they have to like outsmart them, them people it's it's a really interesting show it has a good concept being an fbi show um if you like beautiful women definitely watch this show um ah burnt dropping stuff but anyways i just want to give you guys a quick little summary of the show it's a really good show it's not the best, it's not the worst. Like I said, if you have a weekend to kill, 22 episodes, they're like 40 minutes apiece on Hulu. You can knock this show out in the weekend, 10 one day, 10 the next day. Um, just marathon it. You won't be disappointed. Uh, the next review I want to have for you guys, uh, I think 
Well, the next series finales are going to be like The Flash, Gotham, um, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow. I have to marathon that. It's only a couple episodes. So I, I marathon Legends of Tomorrow. I'll probably even watch Supergirl since they actually got renewed on CW for season two. Uh, expect a lot of reviews to come out over the next week or two whenever shows start ending. And then when they start launching back up, hopefully I'll be in a better position to give you guys weekly recaps. Probably not day of, but like next day reviews like I used to do. Um, but yeah, all in all, Quantico, 3.5 out of 5. It's a decent show. I guess that extra 5 just because Alex uh, Priyank is fucking fine as fuck they get she gets that extra point it's a three it's a three point oh show but she gets that point five because she is fine as hell um uh like i said it's it's, it's an abc show but it's better than your everyday abc show because it's not a prime time show it's in a prime time slot but it's on a sunday it comes on on sundays if you want to catch it for the next season i don't know if they're going to do uh, recaps throughout the season, like, you know, show old episodes on Sundays to fill that time slot or they got something new. Uh, I started to watch Minority Report. Oh, this is turning. Like, I tried to watch Minority Report. I'm watching The Path now. They're on episode nine. I don't know if it's up now or... And I'm watching it on Hulu, of course. But The Path, I've been watching. Orange is the New Black is coming back soon. Voltron. Uh, just expect a lot of reviews. So, if you guys like this show, or if you guys watched this review and then saw the show, what did you guys think about it? Uh, you can comment down below and let me know, of course. Um, my mind is somewhere else. I'm looking at other stuff, so let me stop. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, all link down below if you want to follow me on anything other than YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video out with your friends. And like, please, if you don't mind. But with all that being spoken, I am Sean the Gamer, and I am out of here.